Okay, what I'm going to try today is I did an interview earlier. And I've got it recorded on here. I did the other one on my camera. First time I've done anything like this, so uh, take it easy on me. But this is some of the stuff I'm interested in that I want to share with you people to uh, show you that other people have this stuff happen. So this will be either part one or part two. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to drive up there and do some chores while this is going on. That's what I try to stress to people that no. you have to go and you have to go out and look for yourself. You know what I mean? Unless you have an yeah. encounter like like you was talking about. But uh, I've turned the recorder on. I turned it on about ten seconds ago. So just to let you know that I'm I'm recording right now. So don't don't say your name if you don't want to and all that. Yeah. Well, bye bye. I mean, my name's Ed. You know what? Oh, anybody needs no one to help. But. Right. <laughs> Game cameras out there to keep them off my 
house. But it, it always seems like they wait for you to go to sleep before they, you know, to lay down and go to sleep. Like, and that makes me think that they're peeking in at you. Yeah, no, I've never had that problem. Yeah. Um, but the, the, they've only hit my house twice. Right. You know, and, and but I've had, like, that one, uh, I put up a game camera on, it was about 100 yards from the house. And I had that one, uh, I slept down there, and I think I surprised it. You know, because I can, when I was able to, before I became disabled, I could eat through the woods, you know, Indian style, real quiet. Right, so you probably hunt, right? Uh, yeah, but it's a little bit harder for me now. Right, but what I mean, you used to. Yeah, but I was just getting ready to strap the camera up to the tree uh -huh. on the walking road. And down in the hollow below me, this thing took off. Uh, like I was telling you before, it, it sounded like a truck running off of two legs. And this thing was so fast. I mean, it, it covered 100 yards through the woods back in these big old lands. Yeah. It covered 100 yards in about five seconds, and then it come to a complete stop, and it was just dead silent. Yeah. That's I been there for a good 15 minutes listening, and I never heard another sound. I never even laid eyes on it. <laughs> and I didn't know what the world was. I mean, I could I mean, it was really thick woods, too. Right. And but it was going up the other side. It kind of been an angle a little bit, you know, off to the right. And I just stood there listening, and I thought, what in the world? Yeah, but you could tell it was running on two legs. Right. But, that, but that's the only way I could describe it. And that's what I told that the moral investigator, that it sounded like a truck on two legs. Right. Well, that's why I told mine that it sounded like a bull bit on two legs. I mean, just going through there and snapping limbs and... Did it do any huffing or anything whenever it took off? No, it never made a sound. This, this big old lamb was breaking and, uh, you know, like a truck on two legs. You know, I mean, that's what we're doing. We have to describe it like a bulldozer. I mean, it's just a shit. Right. Oh, I've heard it. But the one I, that I heard, it, it went, <coughs> and then took off. And this is right behind my house. I mean, I can see the spot where I'm sitting right now, not 20 yards away from me. Uh -huh. But yeah, they're and uh, it, but it's uh, unbelievable how quiet they can get. Yeah, I've had rocks thrown around me and never see a thing, and never hear a thing. I mean, it's just yeah. unbelievable. But the, the, the quickness yeah. of them is what gets me. And and, and right about where that thing took off at, where I had that camera at, about fifty yards uphill from that, there was a uh, I'd say it's about seven feet off the ground there was a real big tree limb break that went across a deer trail and I put up a camera there and I got a lot of the deer on camera there and some turkeys and even the coyotes uh -huh. the coyotes would circle my camera <laughs> I got a lot of coyotes on video right there but I, and a lot of deer there right even you know but I've never video of anything else. And I bet every one of them look right at your camera too, don't they? Nope, they go right past it. Oh, really? Coyote, sir. Yeah. Uh, three, or, three or four nights in a row, I got a coyote on that camera that he would always circle that camera, but he never look at it. Right. And uh, it was the, the day after I seen that, uh, that tree limb break. And, oh, and right below that too, I was just got done feeding the dogs, and it was somewhere around one o'clock in the in the evening time. But somewhere around one o'clock, somewhere around in there, it was pretty warm. Now. It was about 90, 95 degrees out, and I heard all of a sudden I heard all these limbs being broke. Uh -huh. It was pretty pretty steep down in the holler down there. I know it was pretty humid out. And I don't know who in the world would be down there doing all this, but these lambs were just, it sounded like there was 10 people down there breaking firewood. Did you ever get a chance to go look it was, see the damage? No. Uh, oh, no, it was, it was way too steep for me to be there. <laughs> I hear you. For anybody, uh, the hill was way real steep. <laughs> yeah. And I tried, to, I tried to get the investigator to go down there and look, but it was even too steep for him to go down there. So I don't know what in the world could be doing anything like that. But it went on for like five minutes. Well, um, I could put you in touch.
touch with that Jack Smart. He lives out around Louisville, I believe. Okay. And uh, like I said, he's a really good guy. I mean, I, I was blessed in finding him and not once, you know, somebody else that, like you're talking about, that don't really care. He actually listens and he'll, he gives good advice too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other fellow that I know, uh, well, he's passed away now. And he never believed in any, anything like that. But he was out walking his dog. He lived pretty close to me over there. And he's a, he was a World War II uh, veteran. And he was out walking his dog. And he was telling me about uh, across the street from his house, there was a bar. Uh -huh. And he said that he walked his dog about 9 o'clock at night. And he said three nights in a row, he heard this thing. He called it a grunt growl. And he was hard to hear him. Right. And he said, he said it scared his dogs. It was a German Shepherd. Yeah. It would scare his dogs so bad it took his tail and would run and hide behind him. Yeah. And he said he was hard to hear. And he said that, uh, um, that he didn't, uh, that he heard it and it kind of worried him because he wasn't really sure what it was. And, uh, so I made, so I, made, I made a recording. I found a recording online, and I played them some different sounds of what it sounded like, and I made a recording of this thing, this Bigfoot sound. Uh -huh. And I played it for him, and he said, I didn't tell him what it was, and he said, that's exactly what I heard. And I told him what it was, and he didn't believe it. So I said, well, I said, I'm telling you, that's what it was. He goes, but that's the sound I heard. <laughs> And I, put, I got the recording right here. Oh, well, could you play it? Yep, I'll play it for you right now. Is that what you heard? Well, I, it, it didn't really come through very good. Uh, it didn't? Okay. Yeah. Again. Is it something you found online or? Yeah, that's what I found online. Okay. See if, see if you can hear it again. All right. Hear it a little better? Yeah, I can hear it. It's a little bit staticky, but I mean, that's all right. <coughs> uh. Have you, do you store your dog food outside or anything? Uh, no, in the house. Okay. Do you feed your critters outside? Or do the neighbors? Yeah, feed them, yeah, yeah, feed them outside. Because the, the boogers, they will come in for, for the dog food and eat. Uh, mm -hmm. I've had to move my dog's dog food on the porch because she would not touch it whenever it's out there where I used to store the dog food at. I've moved it now. Uh-huh. But they would cut, like, I was missing 50 pounds a week. And I was just wondering if anybody else that you knew of was having uh -huh. that problem. Uh, no. Nope. Um, I was going to tell you something, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, um, what kind of game cameras do you have? Do you have, the, like, the no-glow type cameras? Mm. Mine's uses the, I guess it's the infrared deal on them. I did have one that uh, that had the time lapse that would just take pictures every, whatever you put it on the settings. And I wish I would have kept it now, but I traded it for a bow. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, mine uses all infrared, but I, I don't think game cameras, I think these, I don't think they're stupid apes. I think they're uh, a lot oh, no. smarter than what people give them credit for. And I think they know their surroundings well. And that they will yeah. see a camera, or they might even be able. You know, their hearing has, to, their hearing, all their senses have to be better than ours to live out in the woods like they do. Uh, and you know, they they don't have hearing damage from loud noises like we come in contact with, and they don't stare at a computer screen and mess their vision up and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Right. So I figure oh, yeah, you're out there and they're you're out there, you're out there in their living room and bedroom. You know. Exactly. Just like the just like the deer. Yeah, yes sir.
And uh, but the, the the game camera I have is called the Moultrie M nine ninety I, and it, it it makes when it takes a picture, there's no shutter noise, no shutter click. Right. And it's a it's a no glow camera. There's no noise or light or anything. Okay, that's there's probably why the Cody's ain't seen it. Huh? That's probably why the coyotes don't see it, because dogs can see, you know, in infrared. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you won't see, you don't see or anything, or hear anything. Yeah. I was thinking about, you know, if you had some kind of a camera like that, you could stick that a type like that inside your barn. Right. At the, very, at the far end of it, if they're going inside your barn. Well, that's, 